Now Sports with Sports Director Scott Lever. The North Boone Vikings were a strong third place finisher in the Big Northern Conference last season. For the first time in several years, they don't have any members of the Dutch family on the roster, but the Vikings will again have some firepower. Here's a look in our football two a days. The guys in green will be a little green this year when it comes to experience. We had a lot of turnover, uh, graduated a lot of seniors that had a lot of snaps for us last year. So uh, it's, it's a younger group. There's a lot of spots up for grabs and guys have been working hard. The Vikings graduated most of their bigs on the line, guys that called themselves Warhogs last year. But all-conference player Patrick McCarty is back. He'll play on both lines. They were a great unit last year, and, you know, they were my family. I mean, I love them, but, uh, you know, the people we got now are also my family, and they, they got that Warhog in them, too. You know, we're excited about the guys that we have that are coming in here. Um, like I said, they're, they're young, but they're hungry. The Vikings also have a new starting quarterback, R.J. Wolski. He really just understands the offense more uh, in, in concepts and what we're trying to do in the passing game especially. Um, but he's a guy, you know, we like his legs too, so um, he's, he can make plays with his legs and through the air. When Wolski goes to the air, 6'4 junior Brad Dahl will probably be the first guy he looks to. Dahl made some big catches last year. With North Boone spread offense, it takes more than one good receiver. As usual, the Vikings seem to have several good ones. Yeah, we have a really good group of guys this year. We have one through ten can really do it. But we're going to just keep working and getting better. Ezreal Dixon is back after starting at receiver last year as a sophomore. He's a speed guy. And running back, look for Connor Chamberlain and Jacob Webb to get a lot of carries. But some of those receivers could also get carries. Most of these same guys will line up on defense, and the Vikings have a new defensive coordinator in Tony Libet. Our defense new with uh, Tony Libet. It's going to be really good, new, new defense, so we're going to be working, and our, everyone really, we're all working hard. Later tonight on the second part of our two days, I'll stay in Boone County to preview the Belvedere North Blue Thunder.